It's early morning at Sasha Lodge. It's incredibly peaceful and quiet. If I stop talking for a second, you can hear the sounds of the birds. We're going to explore the birds in the canopy of the rainforest because here at this lodge, they have towers that take you to walkways where you can literally walk along the canopy of the rainforest and see and hear the animals and the wildlife that live there up in the trees. We crossed a beautiful lake and on the way we spotted a variety of birds and even a family of monkeys. continued on, paddling deeper into the rainforest, passing under trees that seem to reach for the sky and the life-giving sun above. You better bring those hiking shoes or borrow a pair of rubber boots for the traips through the jungle that'll bring you to the tower and 172 steps, which will take you to the top of the rainforest, giving you an absolutely spectacular bird's eye view. After spending some time above the trees, we headed down to the floor of the jungle. There we spotted an owl that seemed to be frozen in time. Something else happened. Our guide stepped off the trail, reached down and picked up what no one else saw, a tiny poisonous frog that he dared to hold in his bare hands. We jumped back on board the boat and headed back to the lodge for what I was told was going to be a culinary treat. This morning we saw that the early bird in the jungle got the worm. But Fausto here tells me I can get the worm too and he has gathered some from a palm tree for us to try. Whew. I don't know about this Fausto. How are we going to prepare it? Uh, three ways, okay? Palm, kind of like what with stick, like barbecue. Okay. And with a leaf. And All right, let's do the barbecue first. Let's do the barbecue. culinary delight? I don't think so. But Fausto is taking the time to make sure that he drains the blood and assorted guts of these worms, the cleaning process if you would, so we can enjoy our morning meal. So Fausto assures me he's cooked it well done, beautifully grilled with a little salt, and he says it's going to be delicious. As you can see, the stuff just oozing out. Okay. Well, here goes. You only live once. If I didn't know what I was eating, it would taste a little bit like a potato with a crunchy shell on the outside. So let me flash back to my childhood. My mom's cooking, which wasn't very good, oven brown potatoes. And that's the best I can do. Eating worms? I think I got it backwards. I think you're supposed to use the worms to fish, and in the Amazon, you use them to fish for piranha. So I caught my first piranha here at Sacha Lodge, and if you can get in tight on that, you can see the sharp teeth that this guy has. You don't want to mess with it. Even though it's small, you definitely don't want to mess with it. All right, I don't even take my own advice. How about a swim with the piranhas? <laughs> 